God bless you, my beloved. Thank you for joining us today. We are Abundant Grace Church. I am Bishop Ramon Di Maria, and I'm the senior pastor of the church. For prayer or information concerning our ministry, please email me at abundant.grace at att.net. Our topic today is supernatural peace. This is part three. Our subtitle is The Prayer to Offer. I will be reading from Philippians chapter four, verses six and seven. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. My beloved, this is an important topic that I want to present to you today. It is the prayer to offer. My beloved, there is only one cure for worry, and there is only one antidote for anxiety, and that is prayer. The Apostle Paul says, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. The Apostle Paul says, but in everything, which is in contrast to be anxious for nothing. They are polar opposites. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, bring that to the Lord in prayer. When Paul says, in everything, he means in every situation, in every circumstance, in every trial, and in every difficulty. Bring it to the Lord in prayer. Do not worry about anything. Pray about everything. That is what Paul is saying. My beloved, God towers in transcendent majesty over everything in our lives. We are smaller than the smallest creature as God looks down from the heights of heaven. Of course, we can commit little things to the Lord in prayer. They may be big or little things to us, but they are all small to the omnipotent, which means all-powerful God, for whom nothing is impossible. Paul says, in everything by prayer. This word is a common word which conveys the idea of coming face-to-face with God. Prayer is your soul coming face-to-face with God. It is a one-on-one encounter with God. It is to bring your heart, your soul, your request, and your praise directly to God. This is the privilege that we have as a kingdom of priests. Direct access to God. We don't need a priest in a church to give us access to God. We have a mediator, the Lord Jesus Christ, who has opened the one true way that we can have confidence to come before the throne of God in time of need. This is the idea of this word. Prayer is direct communication with God. Communication with God face to face. Paul uses the word supplication. This is the idea that as we are aware of what we need and what we are lacking, we need to bring what we need before the Lord in order to do the will and work of God. The next word that Paul uses is thanksgiving. This means that we are expressing gratitude to God for what he has already provided for us, perhaps with a sense of faith that God will answer this request in the future according to his perfect wisdom and his perfect timing. Paul also mentions requests. This relates to whatever it is that you need to serve God and to carry out the will of God in your life. Bring those specific requests to the Lord in prayer. As Christians, my beloved. Let us bring our needs to the Lord in prayer and lead them there with him. And the result of doing this, my beloved, is what I will discuss in our next part, which will be part four. Let us pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we praise you and thank you for this message today. We come to you, Father God, in prayer, believing that what we ask for, according to you will, you will do it. Father God, thank you for letting us know that we can come to you anytime in prayer and be face to face with you because our hearts are set in the right direction. And that direction is toward you through your Son, our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for hearing our prayer today as we pray in the name of our Savior and Lord Jesus Christ, to whom be glory, power, and majesty now and forever. Amen. My beloved, continue to seek God face to face in prayer. God bless you and continue to trust in God.